selfie of, of you? Yeah, go ahead. So I started a new trip. I'm going to be traveling across the country and back. It's going to take me about two months or something like that. So right now I'm in New York. I'm going to be checking out um, Lake Placid, which is where the 1980 Olympics took place. There's some cool stuff there. Plus just some really cool random upstate New York, beautiful scenery and old barns, whatever I can find. It's cool stuff. So um, stay tuned. This is going to be excellent. So driving up 87 in, in uh, New York, I came across Orange County Choppers, and I've been in here before, but maybe some of you haven't. Maybe it'd be interesting to see what it looks like in there, and uh, maybe the guys are in there hanging out. Who knows? So we'll go in there and check it out. Tell you've done that before. <laughs> well, that was very cool. Met Paul Senior for a little bit and uh, had a had a nice little conversation with Mikey. That was pretty cool. Nice, nice guys. Real regular, nice people. Pretty cool. How's this for a New York sunset? Kind of a sunset. The sunset's already gone, but that's pretty beautiful. Those low-lying clouds in there. You can't beat that smell when you get up into northern New Hampshire, northern uh, New York, northern Vermont. You get that pine tree smell. It smells so good. It's, it's all mountains. It's beautiful up here. Pretty incredible. It's going to be a quiet night. I don't think there's going to be a lot of truckers there at all. But this is where I'm staying because I have big plans for tomorrow. So here we are. The next morning at the truck stop. Look at that sunrise. It's about 6 a.m. Good morning from the Adirondacks. Uh, I'm up bright and early to do some interesting exploring, but uh, I just wanted to show you how incredible the sunrise is here at the Adirondacks. All right, so I made it up to Lake Placid, which is pretty much the center of the Adirondacks and I'm at the Olympic spot, zone, whatever you want to call it. This was the site of the 1980 Olympics, and uh, a bunch of ski jumps are still here, and they still use them. Kids practice for future Olympics or whatever, so we're going to check them out. It's going to be pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. They slide down. It's like a resin or something. Every time one goes after that, they uh, spray it down. It's like misters that mist, the, mist water onto the ramp, onto the jump, and then the next one goes. I can only imagine what it's like watching the pros jump off that high one. That is insane. So look how amazing those ski jumps are. I think the tallest one is, uh, the taller one is like 26 stories high or something like that, 26 stories tall. 
pretty incredible. It'd be so awesome to be able to go up there, huh? Oh wait, you can. I'm gonna go right now. This is gonna be awesome. Watch your head. No, watch your knee. Thank you. Here we go. So check out the old stands from 1980. I mean, they still use this, but those are the bleachers where everybody sat and watched. And you can actually see the old scoreboard too is still there. This is pretty cool. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, the Olympics were here in 1980, and uh, so that's when they built all this stuff. So it's still here for people to use and practice. They, they still use this stuff. They put like a weird, I don't know what this is, like a weird material on there. This is like a little baby one. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can use this smaller one. I guess they don't use the giant one anymore. That It's massive. You'll see the difference when you get up there. So, yeah, you take this uh, chairlift up there, and then... Um, once you get up there, you can uh, you take an elevator up, and it's I believe it's 26 stories high. I mean, it towers above everything. All you can see everywhere in the mountains and everything. So, I'm really excited to see this. Look at the old staircase. Imagine walking that stairs during practice. <laughs> Look how incredibly tall this thing is. This is amazing. So I don't know how this is going to look because I'm using a GoPro which has the wide angle, but this thing is so tall. I, I'm pretty sure it's 26 stories, so I don't know. I'm going to go up right now. I'm going to ask them, but yeah, you jump in an elevator and go all the way up to the top. So here we go. Have you ever been on top of a ski jump? You're about to. Hello. Yeah. So check this view out. This is an amazing view. And they confirmed that it's 26 stories high right now. It's like an, an upward shot. It's, these are the steps that go all the way up to this top. I guess the numbers represent where you want to start as far as how much speed you want to get. We can actually go all the way up there. I'm going to go right now. sure what this oh you can you can change the height of this deck this thing will roll up and down it has big gears and the chain so this whole platform will move up or down I don't know how far maybe 50 feet or whatever I have no idea it's an adjustable platform there you go it says it takes approximately five, 15 to 20 seconds to complete the entire jump the design speed at takeoff is 60 miles an hour. Incredible. And here's the view. Wow. Imagine yourself strapping some skis on and <laughs> going down this thing and launching, I don't know how far, all the way down there. It's incredible. Like I said, the perspective is probably off because of the GoPro, the wide angle, any camera, it doesn't do it justice as usual. Nothing ever does, but incredible. This gives you a perspective. So they launch off of there and they fly through the air. And it's so steep where they land, you can just, you can't even see actually all of it. It's, it's so steep, that's incredible. It's 60 miles an hour. Check this out, you can actually take a tube flying down the uh, bottom of the ski jump. How cool is that? It's, this is definitely something I have to come back for.
Not sure what this place is, but I pulled over to the side of the road because it's incredible. Absolutely beautiful here. These are all like little islands. It's just a little park off the side of the road. No one's here. A couple cars. I guess they have boats out there somewhere, but you can see the big mountains way off in the distance. And this is like an old dock or something. I don't know. So I'm going to enjoy this place for a little while. Enjoy the beautiful day and then uh, probably spend the night in the Adirondacks area and then maybe get on the road from there. So thanks for watching this Oddman's vlog. Uh, to, la to watch the last vlog, click right here. And um, if you like what you saw and you like this kind of stuff, then definitely follow me along on my journey. I'm traveling all over the country, checking out amazing places like here, upstate New York. And I'll uh, see you on my next adventure. Thanks, guys.